favorite mother's mother.com let's take a look at the chart for ripple here we are looking at a daily chart and i just want to talk about this movement below the 30.9 level which as you know is a trap zone now you'll notice we moved below 30.9 on the rsi somewhere here when the stock was trading at 40 cents now we know that when a stock moves below 30.9 we should avoid buying it until it comes back above 30.9. Now, if you had used that understanding, of course, this drift from about 40 cents to the current lows, let's call it the lows here of about 0 0.24, 246. This big drop has come while the stock is trading below 30.9. So, of course, this is the daily. Until the daily moves above 30.9, we know that we should avoid trying to catch a bounce here. Now, this is also made worse if you take a look at the four hourly chart, which you can see here ever since we moved below 30.9, which is this area when the stock was trading at about, let's call it 42 to 41 cents. Yeah, something like that. Maybe around 42 cents, which is here. We moved below, actually, you know what? It is somewhere here, this period here, around 42. So we moved below, let me clear that out. All right, so we're talking about this time frame here, to be clear. We moved below RSI 30.9. And we were rejected here for these highs. We tried to move above it here. We were rejected for those highs. We went above it and back below it with uniform action, which is a trap for the recent highs here. So if one was trying to catch a bounce in Ripple, the best thing would be to wait for some of these charts, especially the daily, to recapture the level back above 30.9 otherwise the risk continues to be that as long as the rsi is trading below 30.9 that you eventually slide lower and break fresh lows or break into fresh lows that is what i call a fundamental error otherwise for more information about this level take a look at the links that are provided in the description of the video Eric Mother's mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E, I see. S.